Hi guys, we are in Malaysia and today we're going to go stationery shopping. Yay. This is Sophie by the way. She's actually my videographer slash fellow stationery addict. So let's go. Hey guys, we are back in the apartment and Sophie's right there packing the stuff that she got. So I'm gonna share with you some of the stuff that I got from C Zip Lee. So um, it's actually a very popular arts and craft store, but also they have a lot of stationery. So I managed to get a lot during my brief hour there. So first off is this uh, Claire Fontaine pad, cold pressed watercolor pad. I decided to get it because we don't have Clairefontaine that much in the Philippines and it's 100% cotton. It's acid-free and I really like the size. It's 7 by 10 which is usually the size that I like for my watercolors. And uh, yeah, the second art related thing that I got is also from Clairefontaine. This is a craft pad. I apparently got it because of the craft color. And it's also 250 GSM, which means the quality is really good. And it says here it's a paint on multi techniques naturel, so it means multi techniques. I can use uh, paint, uh, watercolor paint, color pencil, or whatever. So it's pretty much versatile. And you're probably gonna judge me because the next few things I got are all yellow. <laughs> so I've been meaning to get a lot of Japanese stationery, but I haven't had the time and we don't have a lot of that in the Philippines, so I decided to get some here. So this one, I don't know if this is actually Japanese, but I've been seeing this on people's um, journal spreads and I was like, I wanted to get those alphabet stamps as well. So this is called Yosogo. It is a set of alphabet stamps. I'm gonna try to open it so that you could see what's inside. They come in a lot of sizes and it's actually pretty affordable. It's like 20 ringgit, which is, I think that's like 200 or 300 pesos and you have the whole lot of A to C alphabets. And it's not opening that, okay, there. So you will be able to use this for journaling and I like the size. So here's what the alphabet set looks like. I got mine in the size 2. And basically it's... Come on, open! Here. It's really nice and really compact. So I will definitely be using them for my journal spreads. And I like that it's in serif. So I like my serif fonts. Next up, I basically got a lot of stuff from Kukuyo. Kukuyo is a Japanese brand. They make pretty functional stationery and that's what I love about them. So first off, I got this Kukuyo dot liner. This is for journaling in case I want to stick some photos or ephemera on my spreads. This is an easy way to do it instead of using glue stick. I always use glue stick but I wanted to try this out because it's very compact and it's a liner so it's easy to just bring them around and like versus the glue stick that's pretty bulky. Next up is called Saksa. It's a brand by Kukuyo and it's for scissors. And I like this pair of scissors because they have a cover so it's not too sharp. I also got, okay, this isn't Kukuyo but I got this King Jim uh, Sticker Flakes album. 
So Ellen gave me one of these when she when I met her in Munich and I decided to finally get one for myself because the one she gave me is for sticker sheets and this one is for sticker flakes. So basically instead of having a lot of bulky sticker flakes along on your journaling stash, you can just place them here in these envelopes, designated envelopes, and I find that really, really handy. Next up, I got a set of MD Notebook Lite. Three, it's three in one. So this is an impulse buy because I forgot to bring a field notes notebook or a tiny notebook because usually when I travel, I like to bring at least one and like jot down all the things that happened and some of the expenses that I had. And lastly, I'm going to show you this Mako, it's actually a washi tape storing device. It's like a pen and I find it really interesting. So I've also been seeing it a lot. So I decided to finally get one and see if it works for me. And of course I got some, a postcard for me. Uh, sunrise breakfast, so it's really cute. And to add to that, we also went to snack food today. It's like a specialty store, a good store. And of course, I didn't come out empty handed. I got myself the latest, latest copy of Flow magazine. So Flow magazine is a magazine based in the Netherlands, and it's really hard to find it in the Philippines. I always go to Singapore, Japan, um, the States, or in Europe to get a copy. So it's nice that this brand is available in this Malaysian store called Snack Food, so it's really nice. So that's it for today's haul, and tomorrow, in the next couple of days, we're going to a lot more stationery stores, so keep watching. So we are back in the apartment. I'm going to show you some of the things I got today. We went to the central market and they have this store where I got the really nice postcards from yesterday. So the brand name is called Loka Made. And I managed to get another postcard. They have a store there so I got these Deco sticker flakes. This one is actually architecture which is really my fave. And then this one is all food, clothing, and they have some shop houses, so I decided to get one as well. The price is actually pretty good, and my favorite would be actually this one. It's an A5 uh, folder, and it has a lot of compartments, so I get to put some of my stationery there. We also went to Kinokuniya in Surya KLCC, which is where the Petronas Twin Towers are, and I finally got myself this book. This book is entitled Daily Rituals, Women at Work. I have the Daily Rituals one at home, but this one's specifically for women, and it's a thick book. I can't find this at home, so I managed to get one while I'm here. I also got this set of Genius Playing Cards, Art Genius Playing Cards. I've been seeing this on Instagram for quite some time now. And of course, Frida Kahlo is there in all of the artists, so I really wanted to see what this looks like, and I wanted to get one as well. And lastly, I went to get myself some sticker sheets for me and my friends from Mossery. So this is available at Kinokuniya. So they're really cute. I'm keeping this lemon one for sure. Tomorrow we're going to go to Stickerific for my workshop, so that's going to be interesting because apart from the workshop, there's going to be a lot of items available in Stickerific, so keep watching to see more of that.
Hey guys, I'm back in my apartment and this is my final haul for Malaysia. Fingers crossed. So here are some of the stuff I got at Stickerific. So I am teaching workshops here this weekend. That's why I'm going to be there for two days. So today's the first day that I'm there. Um, I also got a lot of things from Stickerific because they have a lot of Japanese stationery as well as uh, homegrown Malaysian artists with postcards, stickers, and tape. So I thought I'd share some of you it with you guys. First off, I got a uh, Versacraft uh, stamp pad ink. This is in Ash Rose, so this is a very rare color and I'm really excited to try it because I've been into pinks lately when it comes to journaling. And then I got this um, MJBB bus ticket. Next up, I got a couple of stickers. So this one is from, the. I think these are made in Stickerific. This one is travel our travel tickets. So this one, bus tickets. And here I got some, I think this is Malaysian packaging. It's really, really nice. So they're all stickers. I also got myself the La Dolce Vita sticker set. This is, I think, autumn themed. And it's going to be autumn soon. And I'm going to be traveling at that time. So I thought of buying a set for me. And since the 2020 lineup for Traveler's Factory Notebooks, Traveler's Notebook came out recently, I don't have, I don't use TNs for my planning, but I have bought the uh, sticker set for the 2020 diary because it's music, uh, traveling, and coffee. All of these are things that I really like. And I also decided to get this cardboard. Um, it's sort of supposed to be a guide that you can use and there's also measurements at the back So I find it really useful. It's my first time buying it. So I'm really excited for that By the way, this sticker set comes in six sheets inside. So it has the index the icons some symbols and plastic um, Pocket stickers, so that's gonna be pretty interesting and then I only got one washi tape I actually got the La Dolce Vita one in I'm not sure if this is La Dolce Vita. It says Aya Bungu. So this these are girls and they're in stationery. So there's pens. I don't know if you can see it with the plastic seal, but it's really interesting. I also got this general purpose case from Nahe. Nahe? It's I think it's a European brand. So it's very useful, but I think it's made in Japan. Oh, it's made in Taiwan. So it's a small case if you can see. I find it would be nice for my passport and other travel documents. And I also got some ticket ephemera. So hopefully I'll get to use this for some of my journaling spreads. I have not journaled in quite a while, so I will definitely be doing a series of travel journaling videos for you guys. I also got this sticker. This was an impulse buy. It says uh, Illustrator. And I like it It's because it's in the color yellow, of course. I also got their Mossery Inktober list in case I want to participate as well. And then I got sticker a sticker sheet also from Mossery. Mossery is actually a planner brand, but they also have some stickers. This is an artist collaboration series. And by default, of course, I would get the one with art materials. I also got this uh, Midori Index because I use index seals a lot for my bullet journals, planning, and basically day-to-day -day work stuff. So this is in gold. It's actually really pretty. So I decided to get one for next year. And this is a shop house postcard. I'm a sucker for these things. I also got two zines. They are about Japan. The first one is Tokyo 2019 by Z2. Z2 is the owner of Stickerific. And I love it. It's just all her journal entries in zine form, basically. And I love reading about people's um, things and documents about their own travels. So it's really, really pretty. Similar to this one, this one is called Summer and Typhoon. It is, I believe, a photo diary as well. I'm just going to open it. Um, I really like the juxtaposition of art and photos in this spread. And basically, it's a lot of um, visual inspiration, so I'm really excited to browse through that one. And lastly, this was definitely an impulse buy because I already ordered a Hobonichi Play notebook that's coming this fall. But I did manage to get a Midori notebook, so I got the Midori A5 grid. 
And I really love that Midori is actually very clean cut. So I also got their notebook cover. And I'm really excited to use them. So I hope you like my haul. This is probably the most I've spent on stationery in recent years. And it's nice because I've never really found stuff that I really like particularly. So yeah, I'm going to be definitely be putting these journaling tools to good use. So keep watching my videos to know more and I will share more travel journaling videos in the next couple of months. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!